Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video on some hands-on time of the preview of Internet Explorer 9. Um, so this is just, they've just uh, released the preview, and of course this is by no means a complete browser. They've released the preview of Internet Explorer 9, and it brings with it a lot of really cool things, such as HTML5 support, as well as hardware acceleration, and I will get to that in just a minute. So yeah, guys, just hang around, and I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit about it, and show you guys why it actually could be a pretty cool browser. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay guys, so before we begin, let me go ahead and just show you guys a few of the benchmarks that uh, Microsoft has run. Um, and I will note that, yeah, don't think that these are faked. I've actually tried most of them and they all are 100% accurate, so no worries. So on the uh, SunSpider test, as you can see, um, Internet Explorer 9, not amazing. Um, it's still behind Safari and Chrome and Opera, but I will note that, uh, like they said, it's SunSpider is really made for WebKit, which is what they run. Um, so for Internet Explorer 9, it's a little bit different. It's not quite made for Internet Explorer 9, um, but still, as you can see here, Internet Explorer 8 got like 37,000, I mean 3,700, and Internet Explorer 9 got 600. So you know that's a pretty big jump. So we'll go ahead and show you guys um, Acid 3, and of course I've run it too. Um, it only gets 55, not amazing, pretty much every browser beats that. But considering that you know Internet Explorer 8 usually failed the test, not too terrible. Um, so now let's go ahead and show you guys a couple of the cool features. So they have a cool test page that uh, shows a little bit of the hardware acceleration. So I'll go ahead and show you guys one right now. So there's a really cool thing called Flying Images. Now, of course, my screen recording might not be quite right, but you can see up on the top left it shows the frames per second. So basically, this is just using JavaScript, and basically, in, this is a little bit different where it's actually tapping into my uh, computer's uh, graphics card. Um, so instead of, you know, just entirely using the processor, it actually, it's actually using the graphics card um, to, you know, to help the computer, you know, not quite use up so much system resources and uh, run it a little bit better. So you can see here it runs really nice and smooth. We're averaging about 50 frames per second. Um, and of course, you can go ahead and add more. I'll go ahead and add another. Now we're at 64 images, and it's still running pretty nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and speed up some. And it's still holding steady at about 53 frames per second. So just using this test, of course it's made for Internet Explorer 9, but you just using this test, I'll show you guys it in a couple of other browsers. Okay, guys, so this is the exact same test that I just showed you running in Internet Explorer 9, which is averaging about 50 frames per second. And now I'm running Chrome 5, or I'm sorry, Chrome 4, Point one beta. Um, as you can see here, it is barely crawling along. It's running at about two frames per second. Um, so obviously, this kind of gives you a, an, a, an idea of what the hardware acceleration in Internet Explorer 9. Um, and this uh, this is pretty cool because this is about the first test I've seen in a long time. The Internet, Internet Explorer actually is doing good. So, But now let me go ahead and show you guys Opera, where it's just a little bit of a different story. Okay, guys, so this is the exact same test running in Opera 10.5. Now, here it's actually not too bad. It's running at about 41, 40 two frames per second um, and it looks really quite smooth um, so it goes to show you that you know this this is a very specific test and yeah Chrome did not do very good but Opera did and obviously Internet Explorer 9 did so it gives you an idea of how important hardware acceleration is although it's definitely not the most important thing. Okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just opening up some random web pages so let's first start with gizmodo.com which is a pretty heavy website so let's see how Internet Explorer 9 runs it and uh, right off the bat, you can definitely see that it runs pretty well. I mean, especially compared to Internet Explorer 8, um, it runs much, much snappier. Um, see here, it's not perfect, but obviously this is not a, uh, it's not by any means a complete browser. It's just a preview, so um, it seems to run really nice and smooth. Um, you know, this is the preview, so it doesn't really have any kind of UI. Obviously, this is just a. Uh, this is just a placeholder. Basically, all this is is just to test it. But it runs pretty nice and smooth. I mean, you can go ahead and click on just the Internet Explorer 9 page, I guess. Um, there we go. Maybe. Nope. Uh, see, that, and that's kind of a little bit of a thing. It's not 
it's obviously a preview. There we go. Um, and it doesn't like to work a lot of the times, but of course you can see that obviously it does work fairly well sometimes. And you know, smoothing everything is nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, guys, it looks pretty solid. Okay, guys, so that is a first look at the preview of Internet Explorer 9. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, normal little bit of browsing. Um, it can kind of have a few hang-ups like you just saw. Um, so that kind of doesn't, you know, bode too well. But it's a preview very, very, very early. Um, and, of course, you know, I'm sure that they will, you know, smooth it out a lot. Um, but what I'm really excited about is the results, um, a lot of the JavaScript and ACID tests and everything. They're not amazing, but they're actually pretty solid. Um, but what I really like is the fact that it includes hardware acceleration. Um, now, as you guys can see here, there are a lot of different tests, and I've tried them all. And they are all very, very cool. Um, you know, there's a lot of really graphically intense ones that... Pretty much all the browsers, you know, Chrome, Opera, uh, Safari, Firefox, they're all choking on them, and Internet Explorer 9 is running them great. Obviously, I know that they are made specifically for Internet Explorer 9, but still, the fact that developers and, you know, you could have a website that's totally coded for that, and it would work already without any kind of, you know, special modifications for Internet Explorer 9 is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, that is a first look at Internet Explorer 9. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it, i got to say. This is the first time I've been, you know, impressed with Internet Explorer 9 or Internet Explorer in general for a while. But uh, we'll go ahead and keep taking a look at it. Um, if you're interested, go ahead, check out the sidebar or the underbar or more info or whatever they call it these days. Check it out. You can go ahead and download and try this for yourself. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.